we all know about the Titanic and the tragedy that came along with it. We've seen the movie several times, hoping Leonardo DiCaprio doesn't die at the end, or that Rose would have given him some space on that doorframe so he doesn't freeze to death. What if we were to tell you that history has a way of repeating itself? We have heard this statement many times before, and yet here we are, on our way to create a replica of the vessel, the Titanic 2. In today's video, we're going to talk about the original Titanic, and what gave the idea of building a version 2.0. We will cover costs, route, structure, and compare the two. So, let's sail away. The original Titanic took to water in April 1912 and was set on a voyage from Southampton to New York City. The ship was built in Belfast, Ireland. The British passenger liner was operated by White Star Line and had about 2,200 passengers and crew on board. There were many wealthy people in the first-class suites that were designed for comfort and luxury. The ship, however, met a tragic accident when it crashed into an iceberg after five days and sank within three hours, splitting into two. More than 1,500 people died, along with the captain of the ship, Edward Smith. The Titanic's tragic accident went on to be romanticized in the namesake movie released in 1997, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. You would think that after such a tragic accident, people would steer clear of the idea of recreating the ill-fated vessel. However, turns out not everybody feels the same way. The replica project was announced back in 2012 by the Australian billionaire Clive Palmer. The ship was to be built by Blue Star Proprietary Limited and scheduled to set sail by 2016. The half a billion dollar project was affected due to a financial dispute, which caused it to be pushed to 2018 first and then finally to 2022. In terms of the route of Titanic 2, it is said to make a maiden voyage of two weeks starting at Singapore going towards Dubai. It will accommodate passengers as it goes. From Dubai, it will take a trip to Southampton and then follow the original route to New York City. From there onwards, there will be weekly trips between the US and the UK during the summer. The ship is designed to hold 2,400 passengers and give them a world-class experience. The structure is more or less the same as the 1912 version, with the same architecture, cabin layout, class categories, restaurants and dining room. It is like bringing the old Titanic to life again. Considering the original plan, only slight modifications have been made. To start with, Titanic 2 will have improved technological systems. It will have modern equipment for navigation and security. The ship is said to have enough lifeboats and life jackets for all the passengers aboard. Let's do a quick comparison between the original 1912 Titanic and the 2.0 version. The structure of the Titanic 2 is a bit wider for steadiness and will contain a modern diesel engine instead of the traditional steam one. There will also be additional deck that will look over the sea for any dangers like the iceberg the original ship hit. The Titanic 2 will feature first, second and third class cabins. Ticket prices are not available as of yet. The first class cabins will be more spacious and provide more luxurious options to the ones that can afford it. These features start to decrease as you go down the class categories. For example, the first class cabins will have a king-sized bed and luxurious bedding, whereas the third class cabins can have bunk beds and standard bedding options. But all of this is just our presumption, which we'll know for sure once the cruise ship is complete. The Titanic 2 will have a replica of the grand staircase beneath the dome skylight located in the first class section of the ship, as it was in the 1912 cruise liner. There will also be a heated pool just as the one on the original. You would be able to indulge in other activities as well. A gym, yoga, squash, a smoke room and different dining options will be available for all classes. In an interview about the proceedings of the Titanic 2, Palmer stated that they wanted to recreate the original 1912 experience. This includes the cultural era as well. The women will get bustles for their dresses and the men would be able to wear tuxedos. He said that the aim of building the Titanic 2 was to provide passengers with a ship with the same interior and cabin layout as the original vessel. Palmer believes that millions have dreamt of sailing on board the Titanic and experiencing the unique majesty. And the Titanic 2 will make those dreams come true. Once the ship is built, the tickets will be available for sale to the public. There will be a lot of people aboard who fell in love with the idea of the Titanic after watching it on screen. As of yet, there is no official word if there will be a meet and greet with DiCaprio and Winslet, but fingers crossed. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to drop a like and let us know in the comment section what do you think about the Titanic 2? Will you be purchasing tickets for this iconic voyage?